So these are my top six exercises for slim legs. So I find one of the most annoying things about the fitness industry is that I feel like they just, a lot of people want to push fads and whatever's trending. People will push this kind of one size fits all way of working out. And the reality is not everyone is going to get to their goals that same way. And just because something is trendy does not mean that you're going to get to your goals in that way either. A few years ago, HIIT was a trendy thing and then it was lifting weights. And honestly, everyone is starting from somewhere different. Everyone has different goals. So you have to kind of take these things into account. I mean, when I was lifting weights, for example, my legs were the biggest that they'd ever been. I mean, did they look good when they were bigger? Yes, but I didn't fit into my clothes the way I used to, and it kind of just, <laughs> I didn't like that. And in the modeling world especially, I mean, whether you're curved, plus size, skinny, whatever, if the client thinks that you're one size and you turn up to work and you don't fit any of the clothes, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> That's a problem. In this video, the kind of goal is slim toned legs. And I'm gonna talk about how you can tailor it to your own body type so you can get to your own goals. I'm also gonna give you some tips on how to manage it and tweak it for your own body and where you're starting from. So are these exercises the only way you can get slimmer legs? No. There are probably many ways that you can get slimmer legs, but you know, this is the things that I've tried, things that I've did. So yeah, it has my tried and tested seal of approval. <laughs> So if you're starting from a similar body type to how I was, so maybe like a bit fleshy, quite a bit of fat, you know, maybe a lot of fat, um, but somewhere inside there is a bit of muscle, you know? However, if you're starting from a place where you literally, you have absolutely no muscle, so a lot of fat, no muscle, very jiggly, very dimply, soft or fleshy, maybe it's like a bit difficult for you to build muscle in your body in general, then I'm gonna give you some tips on that as well. You probably need to do slightly different things to get the same results and the same effect. I'm also gonna give some tips for people who want less tone in their body or they don't want any more tone in their body, they have a lot of muscle or they're just naturally you know, gifted and they don't need any more. They just want their legs to be smaller because if that's the case, you definitely need to approach things a lot differently. Firstly, I wanna say, I have always incorporated cardio into my workouts to get slimmer legs. By cardio, I mean, you know, just keeping it moving. I have quite a few different cardio workouts on my workout playlist, so you can go and check those out. But you can also do dance, you can, you know, get a skipping rope and do skipping. So after incorporating some cardio, these are the workouts. Number one, leg raises. So you lie on your side with your legs pointed out and then you raise your leg closest to the ceiling up and down. Now you don't want to bring the foot all the way down, you want to kind of bring it up and down and pulse it a bit. This really targets that outer thigh, you'll be able to feel it right there. You can lift it up and down, you can do circles, pulse it like I said, or you can kind of keep it up there, hold it up there for a couple seconds. In general, just keep that foot off the ground. Now this next one, you wanna take that same leg and pop it over the other leg. So the leg that is closest to the ground, you wanna start lifting. These are a bit harder, but really effective if you want that smooth inner thigh. These are gonna get rid of the saddlebags, anything like that, and just make your legs nice and smooth. Now this next one is kind of Kind of a combo of a lot of things. So it's bum, core, and your legs. But it's targeting a different area. It's the back of the legs. So just, you know, underneath the bum. So arms straight, legs out, and kind of in that plank position. And then you wanna just lift the leg and bring it back down. Really slow, really controlled. And obviously with these exercises, you kinda of wanna switch the other leg too. You don't wanna do just, you know, one leg. Next one, I mean, you don't have to switch on this one because you can do both at the same time. It's a bridge. Again, this one also targets different muscles. So abs, legs, and bum. So those workouts are gonna help you get nice and toned, get rid of that jiggle, avoid looking like skinny fat. Let's say if you were to do just cardio yourself. I mean, some people can do cardio just by itself, but most people are gonna need a little a little extra help. So you can use your body weight. I use just my body weight and it works for me perfectly. But if you have that kind of fleshy body type that I talked about earlier, you're probably gonna need some weights. So my favorite ways to add weights to this exercise are either ankle weights or resistance bands. When should you add weights? 
if it's too easy for you, if you don't feel that like resistance, you know, there's like a whole equation. Resistance against the muscles, plus some protein, plus a good night's sleep equals you getting that smooth toned look about your legs or any other part of the body. The more resistance you add, the stronger they're gonna be. It's just about balancing how much you wanna add. So that's what's gonna give you that nice, slim, smooth look. So you are technically building muscle, but it's just not as much muscle as say, like if you were bodybuilding. So it's just about getting that balance right and seeing what works for you. Your own body weight might be enough resistance for you to get perfectly good results. For me, it usually is. But if you have that very fleshy type body type that I was talking about before, you struggle to put on muscle, then you're definitely gonna wanna add a bit. So you can use ankle weights or you can use resistance bands. You can use actual free weights. Start without, keep consistent, see how it goes. If it doesn't really work out for you, then it's still not a waste of time because you've learned how to do the exercise properly. And then you can just add on the weights bit by bit. I personally don't increase weights at all in certain exercises because I know they work for me and I can just keep consistent in that exercise and I know I'm gonna still hold on to the results that I've already got. If, for example, I wanted to build more muscle, then I would increase. Will adding weights make you bulky? If I were to start weight training, not change my diet, not add some cardio in, I would 100% be bigger. I know a lot of people want to believe that lifting weights is gonna be the cure for everyone, but it's, it's not for everyone. For most people, yes, because lifting weights is gonna give you that body, you know? It's gonna strengthen your core, give you great arms, give you great legs, but if your goal is specifically to have slimmer legs, for most people, you're gonna be disappointed. If you are someone who has that fleshy body type, you know, unless your goal is to be skinny fat, doing cardio by itself is not gonna work for you. You're gonna have to add those weights, but that plus some cardio and diet changes is what's gonna make the real, real difference. It's gonna transform your whole body. Now, I'm not saying that you have to spend all your time doing all these things, right? Hours and hours of cardio, hours and hours of weight, super strict on your diet. If you're very happy with the amount of muscle you have, you're super toned, you're firm, you're everything, you should think yourself lucky. Most people are spending hours in the gym to look like you. However, if you are those things and you want to be smaller, you have to approach it completely differently. The best thing for you is to do slow pace, long form cardio. So like jogging or walking, but at like a slower pace, you know? No hit workouts or like, you know, sprinting. This is what my friend did when she put on a bunch of muscle from lifting weights. And then she had to go back and film another season of a TV show she was doing and lose all that muscle. She stopped lifting the weights, of course, and then we ended up just taking walks. Literally, we would take our walks together all the time. I think she also made some diet changes as well. So definitely concentrate on your diet. I think that is probably the most important thing. And then, you know, avoid very explosive type exercises. However, I want to stress though, if you do stop whatever you're doing, like lifting weights, maybe you do a certain sport that makes you, you know, a bit more muscly, you kind of have to weigh out the pros and cons. I have another friend who always says she wishes she had slimmer legs, but in order for her to have slimmer legs, she would have to stop lifting weights. But her whole kind of routine that she's found and does, she's been doing for years has really made her have an amazing six pack, an amazing body. If she kind of just stopped doing that, yeah, her legs would be slimmer, but your exercise routine can be a really important part of keeping you mentally happy and healthy. The most important thing is consistency. There's no point in starting this and then when you suddenly get to where you wanna be, you just stop. Because the moment you stop, you're gonna go all the way back to how you started and it's just, you know, a waste of time. So you can do it like this where you just, you know, pick the exercises, do the sets, do the reps and you're good. For some people, maybe you won't enjoy that. So I don't want you to start doing the workouts and then stop doing it in two months and you know, you're back to square one again. I thought I would suggest some different types of exercises that you can do. These are some really enjoyable ways that you can get nice slim tone legs. I actually think once you get into one of these, it's much more effective than doing just the sets and reps. Pilates, so you can either go to a class and they're usually very challenging, so that's good. They'll probably incorporate some sort of version of the workouts I've shown you because actually the workouts I've shown you are Pilates based workouts, but it's a way where you can do them without doing the sets and reps. You just do them with other people in a class or maybe you put on a YouTube video. You just have to make sure you incorporate some cardio too in your workout routine. And then also just making sure that it is challenging enough for you. So if you choose to do a YouTube video, the first few might be like kind of easing you into Pilates or like relaxation type Pilates. And then afterwards you wanna kind of dig deep. 
find the ones that are really hardcore and much more challenging for you. Next one is doing the elliptical with incline. It just kind of makes it a two in one because it's giving you that resistance, but it's still cardio. I remember last year there was like a viral challenge called the 2 3 30 challenge. It was quite big on TikTok and a lot of people were showing their results. It's a similar concept, you know, so it's an incline of 12 and then going three miles per hour, 30 minutes. I like to do an incline of eight and do a level 10. You can see how so many different people change their bodies with this kind of routine. But I think if you specifically want slim legs, doing an incline very high like that might be good for people who have that, that fleshy body type I was talking about. Whereas when you're going faster, you are getting in that cardio and then you have the incline that's on a decent level that is giving you the resistance. Swimming. Oh, swimming is so good. Again, another two-in-one workout. My absolute favorite because you have the resistance from the water and obviously you're moving about, you're doing that cardio. Really, really helps tone your body, gets you nice, lean, long muscles. I swim at least once a week, but usually about three times a week. Actually, you can work so many different parts of your body depending on where you actually want to work most. Obviously, legs, are for sure but if you want to work your shoulders more you can do the forward stroke if you want to work you know just your legs by itself you can do a back stroke there are just so many different ways that you can work your body but i've started swimming sometimes with a float because i don't want to get my hair in the chlorine and swimming isn't amazing for your hair right so i started swimming with a float and like trying to keep my head out of the water Okay, so I addressed this. Well, I actually have a whole video talking about exactly how to get slim legs, not just the workout part, because the diet part is the most important part. So definitely check out that video if you haven't already watched it. But again, I wanna say to you, you can do as much cardio as you want. You can do as many leg raises, as many bridges. You can swim all you like, but if you have a bad diet, you're literally gonna see this much results. You can get more toned, you can have beautiful legs, but you're not gonna get them to be any slimmer or smaller. Anyway, those are my tips, that's what I do. If anyone has any other tips, they can let me know in the comments. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments. I always get kind of get my video ideas from the questions that I get in my comments. Anyway, thank you for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful and I will see you in the next video. She's a Mama Lisa.